All right, guys, welcome to part two of creating a REST API with just pure PHP, no frameworks or anything. In the last video, we set up our core structure, we set up our database class, we set up our post model, and we created the read function. And then we created our read.php file to basically use the model to query the database and get the data. And then they we're seeing the result here in Postman. Uh, what I want to do now is create uh, I want to be able to get single posts. So we want to be able to hit like read single dot PHP and then add a query parameter of ID equals set, let's say three and get just just the post with the ID of three. Okay, just that object. So let's go back to VS code and we want to be in our post model. So models post dot PHP and we're going to go right under the read function or method we created make sure you're still within the class and let's say get single post so let's do public function single post or not single post let's say read single since the first one was called read uh, and then the query is going to be pretty similar. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just copy all this. So I have to type it out again and we'll paste that in. So the select is going to be the same. We want to get the same stuff. It's from the same table. We want to use P and C as our alias. We're doing the left join. We don't need to do order by because we're just getting a single post, <clears throat> but we do need to specify what post we want. So we're going to say where P dot ID equals question mark. All right, now this question mark I'm using because we're going to use PDO's um, bind param. We're basically going to bind something to this later on. It's, so it's basically a placeholder and we want what we're going to bind is the ID. And then let's just say limit um, zero one. So we just want to get one record. Oops. Why isn't this? This isn't formatted, right? Let me just bring these back. All right, so that's fine. All right, so now underneath, actually we need a quote here and then a semicolon. So underneath this, okay, make sure you're in your read single function still. Actually, let's tab this over. So while we're still in the read single, we want to now prepare our statement. And this will actually be the same as what we did up here, so we can actually copy it. So we'll paste that in. Now we want to bind the ID to this right here, because right now it's just a question mark. So to do that, we can say statement bind param. And we want the basically this is a positional parameter. Um, in PDO, you can have positional parameters or named parameters, and we will be using named parameters for like our inserts and stuff. But basically, we could have more than one of these, but there's only one. So we want to say the first uh, parameter should be should bind to this ID, whatever that's going to be. OK, so we bind the ID, then we execute the query just like we did up here. So I'll just grab this. So we'll say execute query and then instead of just dumping out the statement like we did with the re with the read, um, we want to fetch the array here um, that's going to be returned from this query, which will be one single record. And then we want to assign the properties to, to whatever comes back. All right. So let's say uh, row equals and then we want to take that st the statement and we can call fetch on that and we want to fetch an associative array so pdo double underscore fetch underscore soch and then we want to set the properties to whatever is returned so we want for instance this title to equal row title all right, and I'll just copy these down. We'll do two, three, four, five. 
and then what I'll do is highlight this title here and do control D that'll take the next one and we'll say body. All right, we'll do the same thing here. So this will be uh, author. So title body author. We also want category ID. And we also want category name. Okay, and that should do it as far as this read single method goes. So we'll save this. And now we're going to go to our post our API post folder and create a new file called read underscore single dot PHP. All right. Now, uh, again, this is going to have a lot of the same stuff that our read dot PHP had. So I'm going to copy from here. We want the headers. We want to include this stuff. We want to instantiate our database, our post. And yeah, let's just grab that just to save some time. I don't want to type in the same crap over and over. Um, and then once we do that, we need to get the ID from the URL. So let's say post we will set the ID and we want to do a conditional here, but I'm going to use uh, the, the ternary operator. So it's like a shorthand if and we also want to use is set. OK, is set. We'll check to see if a parameter if something is set. Now we want to use this money sign get super global. Again, if you watch my PHP front to back, you'll you'll learn all about the post and get and on the super globals and stuff like that. This is basically how we get from a parameter. If it's like something dot com. And then question mark ID equals three. This get ID. This is how we can get this value right here. OK, so that's what that's doing. So we're going to say if that's set, then Okay, question mark. We're using the ternary operator. Then we just want to say get ID. We want to set it to that. Else, so we use a colon for else. Then we just want to call the die function, which basically just cuts everything off and and nothing will display or happen. So it'll look for the get ID. If it's there, it'll get put into the post ID. Now, once we do that, we want to call the read single method that's in the post model that we just created. So this right here, this read single. So let's say get post and we'll say post read underscore single. All right. Now, once we do that, remember, we're, we need to return JSON data. So we're going to create an array. So we'll say post single post array is going to be equal to array. And then we just want to do ID will be equal to whatever whatever the post ID is. Title. Post title we want to what else body will be post body um, author and category ID and we also have category name. OK, so now we have our post array. Um, last thing we need to do is is convert this to JSON data. So let's say make JSON and we're going to use print R print underscore R, which just basically prints an array. But we want to wrap this array. So we'll have the post array, but we want to wrap it in JSON underscore in code. OK, so hopefully that works. Let's save it. Let's go to Postman and let's let's actually leave what we did here. So it's going to be read underscore single dot PHP with the ID of three. We'll send and there it is. 
So we just have a single object with all that data. And if we do like one, we'll send and we get the post with one. Okay, so now let's move on to um, uh, where are we here? I'm just do that. Let's move on to uh, creating a post. Okay, so this will be a little different. It'll be a post request that we make from our API. Uh, but let's close up everything except the model. We'll go under the read single that we just created. And let's say create post. Okay, so it'll be public function create. And let's see, we want to first of all create our query. So let's say. Query. Now this is going to be an insert. So we're going to say insert into make sure you put a space here and then we want the table name. So we want to concatenate this table and then concatenate again and we'll go down here and we'll say set title and then this is where we're going to use named parameters in um, in PDO. So we want to do colon title like that. All right. And we'll define these later. So title body is going to equal colon body. Author is going to equal colon author and category ID category ID. And let's see, this should actually end with a quote and like that. All right, so that looks good. We could actually put this on a different line if we want. Yeah, it's fine, whatever. So that's our query. Now we want to prepare our statement. So make sure you're still in the create. We're going to go directly under the query. So prepare statement is going to equal this connection prepare pass in our query just like we did with the select. Um, now what we want to do is we want to actually clean up our data because this is going to be data that people are submitting. So we're going to wrap these in. We're basically going to take the data and wrap them in a couple security functions. So let's say this title and we want to set it to this title. But we want to wrap this in a couple functions. One is going to be HTML special chars because we don't want any special we don't want any HTML here um, or any whatever HTML special characters and then we also want to strip any tags okay so we'll say strip underscore tags and wrap that okay so we're just running this the title through strip tags and through HTML special chars. And there's other way to there's other ways to sanitize your data. Um, this may not even be the, the best way. There's there's so many and people argue over it all the time. But I'm not really going to get into like super uh, security and stuff like that. So for what we're doing here, this is fine. Now we're going to do this for. Let's see, two, three, four more fields. So we're going to add body. And let's do author and category ID. Okay, so we'll clean the data. Now we need to bind the data. Okay, and what I mean is, is take care of this stuff, this colon title, colon body. So we're binding named parameters here. So STMT, just like we did before, we're going to do bind param except we're not putting a number here. We're putting the actual placeholder, which let's say title and we're going to bind it to whatever this title is. All right, so we'll copy this down three more times and let's see this here is going to be body. And again, I'm just I'm selecting this and control D once to get the next one here so I don't have to type it twice author and 
category underscore ID. So that'll bind everything. Then we need to execute our query. So for this, we're just going to say if um, statement. Now, remember, we're not returning data here. We're, we're, we're creating data. So I'm just going to do an if statement. So if statement execute. So basically, if it executes and everything goes OK, we just want to return true. Now, if it doesn't, we want to return false. But if it doesn't, I want some extra data. So this is where remember we set the error mode to um, error mode exception. So we'll be able to print, let's say print error if something goes wrong. So what I'm going to do is use a print F. And we're going to say error and then put a percent s, which is basically like a, a placeholder. We'll put a new line. So we'll concatenate slash n. And then we want to put our state, our error, which we can get from stmt error like that. All right, so if something goes wrong with our query, it, we should be able to see it in the raw tab in, in Postman. So that's it. Let's save that. And now we can go and we can go to our API post folder, create a file called create.php. And here, let's see, we're going to do a lot of the same stuff so, uh, that we did in the other two. So from read, I'm going to just copy. Yeah, we'll copy this stuff and go to create. And we want to we want to add a couple additional header values here since it's a, it's going to be a post request. So I'm actually going to copy that down. So we want to put um, uh, what methods we want to allow here, which is going to be just a post request. So I'm going to say access control allow methods and the value for this oops, the value is going to be post all right and then I'm also going to put here the actual allowed header values so oops allow not allow access control allow headers and then it's, it's basically which what are we allowing as far as these? OK, so this is actually one of them or I'm sorry, this is actually one of them allow headers. So we're going to grab that. And this is going to just be a, a comma separated list. So let's paste that in. We also want. Um, let's see the content type. And the allowed methods. And then I'm also going to allow authorization, even though we're not using it, I still want it to be allowed. And then also we want this um, X dash requested with, which will help with um, uh, cross site scripting attacks. And it also has to do with cores and, and it, it, stuff that I really don't want to get into, but I'm just going to put it here anyways, in case we, we do something else with this later, so in case we build a front end or something. Um, so that should be it for the headers, I believe, hopefully. And then we're going to go down here after where we instantiate our blog post object. And we need to get the data that's posted. So when we when we make our request from Postman, we're going to add the title, the, the body, the author and the category ID. And we need to get that. So we need to say get the raw posted data. And there's a few ways to do that. What we're going to do is we're going to say uh, JSON decode because it's going to be in JSON format. And then we can say file get contents. And then we're going to pass in here PHP colon double forward slash input. 
and that should get us whatever is submitted. Okay, so once we do that, let's assign what we have in the data to the post. So or to the post model or post object, I should say. So post title will then equal data title. Okay, and we'll just copy this down three more times. And we're also going to get the body. We're going to get the author. And we're going to get the category ID. Okay, so now we want to actually create the post. So we're going to use the method that we created in the model, but I'm going to put it inside an if statement just in case it doesn't happen, then we can say whatever post not created. So let's say post and then we'll call create, which we just created. And then if that happens, then let's echo JSON underscore and code because we want to echo JSON content and we're going to pass in here array. And this array will just say message as the key and as the value will say post created. Okay. Else then let's just echo out post not created. So when you're dealing with PHP, I mean, it's it's a little tougher than JavaScript because you have to actually encode your arrays as JSON where with JavaScript. JSON is basically a JavaScript object, so it's it's much easier to 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 deal with. Okay, there's less there's less um, I guess conversion. So let's save that. Make sure everything is saved. Okay, wait a minute. What's going on here? What did I do? If else, uh, oh, I don't. I didn't close this else. Did I? Wait a minute. What the hell? Okay. What am I missing here? Oh wait. I'm, th I'm thinking we're in the class still. There we go. Sorry about that. I could cut that out, but I don't want to. So let's try this out. We're going to try to create a post through Postman. So we want to go to post slash create.php and we're going to change this to a make sure you change it to a post request and we want to go to headers and we want to specify the content type so if we start to type content we'll get this drop down we want content type we want application slash json okay remember in the header that's that's what what we accept that's what our, our api accepts and then the body I'm going to choose raw because I'm just going to submit raw JSON. All right, so we want to put double quotes around both the keys and the values. So let's do title and let's just call this my tech post and for the body. I'll just say this is a sample post we also want author and then we want category ID which one I believe is technology all right so let's try this out we'll send we get post created that's a good sign now we could we could check this a few ways. We could just make another get request to post read dot PHP. That'll that'll give us all of our posts. And there it is. My tech post. And the reason it has an ID of seven is because the last one was six and the ID is auto increment. Um, so another, I mean, another thing we could do is check. Uh, check our database itself, which should be there. I mean, if it's in the yeah, right here, my tech post ID seven category ID sample post got the author, the created at. So there we go. We successfully have added a post through our API. All right, guys, so I think that this is a good place to stop in the next video. What I want to do is start to work on 
uh, being able to update posts and also being able to delete them.